What is up guys? I hope you're having a great day today. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about this. Uh, this. Stick around. Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. In today's video, we're gonna talk about replacing your LCD screen on your resin printer. I have been receiving quite a number of questions on how do you know when you need to replace your LCD screen. So let's firstly talk about the LCD screen on your SLA printer. The LCD screen on your SLA printer is what actually blocks the UV light from the bottom to the top to actually cure your resin. So when you put a model to print, the, each layer of that slice is exposed to the resin via a mask on your LCD screen. Now keep in mind that this mask changes as the print moves higher and higher along your model. Now, for this to work, it needs to effectively block all of the UV light that is coming from your UV LED which is inside your printer. Now that UV LED actually gets very hot over time. That is one of the reasons why your SLA printer actually has a fan that is so loud. Inside to actually keep that LED cool so that it does not affect the LCD which is at the top. Now these LCDs are what you call consumables. They have to be changed ever so often. It's like a cross pen. You have a refill for the pen and after the refill is finished, you toss it and you put a new refill in. Similarly for your LCD printer, where the technology is today, I don't think it has matured enough where the LCD is going to last for a lifetime or at least the lifetime of your printer. These LCDs get hot over time while you are printing, especially when you have very long exposure times. So that's one of the reasons why you would want to run a resin calibration test to be able to tell what is the minimum exposure time per layer for that particular resin. Now, some people, they err on the safe side and they actually use a higher exposure value. What they don't know is that the higher exposure values actually reduce the lifetime of your LCD screen at the top of your printer. So we have spoken about the heat that is generated from the LED inside of your printer and we have spoken about the durations of the exposure times on your LCD. Now these LCDs as they start to wear out you find that some of the pixels start to either be turned on or off. Now, if they're on or off, this actually may allow some UV radiation or UV light from the UV LED inside your printer to get through the LCD mask into your resin and cause artifacts. Some of these artifacts show up like what I like to call stalactites. So they actually have these thin, long pieces of resin coming down your build plate, which shows that there's some light leaking through your LCD onto your build plate while you're printing. So that's one way that you will be able to tell that you have to replace your LCD. Another way is when you run a test on your LCD, you will see some areas where the pixels do not light up. These leave large holes in your mask and in those areas, the resin actually does not cure. So you will find that you're gonna have a print where there's an area that runs entirely through your print and if you hold your print up against the light, you could actually look straight through your print and you will be able to see the other side. And what has happened here is that area on your LCD does not light up or it is actually off completely, which blocks any UV light from the LED inside your printer from reaching the VAT. If this happens, that particular area on your build plate will never see UV radiation or UV light from inside your printer and you will have a hole straight through your model. 
Now we've talked about the reasons why your LCD will go bad. It's a consumable because of heat, because of longer exposure times, these parts of your LCD starts to die over time. Another reason is when you create LCDs in a large batch, some of them will tend to have a smaller lifetime and some of them will tend to have a larger lifetime. And this is just really around the laws of statistics where you have a bell curve and on one side of the bell curve, the age of the LCD is large and on the other side, the age of the LCD will be less and you have the average in the middle. So some persons will end up with an LCD which is on one side of the bell curve which dies within three weeks or four weeks or six weeks. So it dies pretty quickly when you start printing. Others may end up with an LCD which is on the other side of the spectrum where their LCD may last months without needing to change. And like most of us, our LCDs will probably land in the middle of the bell curve which means that we are going to have an average lifetime for these LCDs. Now I'm not sure if manufacturers have given a spec for the average lifetime of these LCDs, but if I were you, I would get one as a spare because you could never tell what's going to happen, like what I'm going to describe to you happen to me next. So I got home from work, I saw I had a failed print because I didn't put enough resin in the vat. So I proceeded to remove the vat and at the base of the vat there were some small specks that were actually stuck to the FEP. So I spent a lot of time trying to clean those small specks from the FEP and when I was happy with it, I was so excited to get this thing printed again, I replaced the vat and I proceeded to print. What I did not do was I did not remove the failed print from the bill plate. I heard the worst crunching sound you could ever hear. And when this happened, the bill plate came right down into the vat and crushed the failed print straight against my LCD. And that was the end of it. Now I removed the fail print, I removed the vat, I cleaned all of the debris from inside the vat and I ran a test on the LCD to see if it was really damaged. It didn't look too damaged to me, so I proceeded to put something to print. When the print was finished, I was pretty happy. It looked really good from the side, but when I looked at the print from the top, it was total failure. And what really happened was it seems that the failed print that got crushed against the LCD really destroyed some of the pixels on the LCD. So what I have is a baby Yoda that looked like it had brain surgery. This is what it looked like. From the front, it looks pretty well, but from the top, there's some serious holes going all the way through the model. So this is another reason why you'd want to replace your LCD due to being totally absent-minded. So keep that in mind. If I were you, I'd have a checklist and I'd go through that entire checklist just to make sure that you don't make a stupid mistake like I did and crush your LCD with a failed print. So this is what it looks like when you have dead pixels on your LCD screen. These are images that I pulled off the internet over the past week or so while I was browsing just so that I have some pictures to show you guys what it looked like. And it seemed to me like every single day there was somebody who was having some other problem with their LCD that needed replacing. So needless to say, I now have to go replace my LCD on my printer before I could continue printing again. Fortunately for me, I ordered two spares of these LCDs as a backup just in case something like this happened and I'm really happy I did or else I would have been waiting for Amazon to deliver this to me and I'd just be sitting here with nothing or not being able to print. I have links to both of them in the description so if you are looking for a replacement screen in my case for the Elego Mars you'll find it in the description and from what I understand it may very well work with your Anycubic Photon or your Epax X1. 
These screens tend to be standard across the board, but please make your own check and do your own research before you actually decide to place an order for a screen for your printer. So there you have it guys. The reasons why you would want to change your LCD on your printer. If you like this video, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell right there to be notified when I have any new videos coming out in the future. Have a good one and happy printing.